Hello everybody, my name's Zero Damaru, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So, when we last left, our County of Bourbon and the Duchy of Bourbon, or Duchy of Burgundy is what we have currently. We were fabricating a claim on Orleans, waiting for our wife to give birth. And hopefully that will be a son, so we'll have a proper heir. Uh, no offense to the ladies, but back in this time period, uh, you didn't exactly have equal rights. All right, and we're most more or less at this point just waiting another daughter. God damn it That's not good Let's Go ahead and take a look at our laws here. I haven't reigned for ten years yet uh, What is he currently doing? Dun, 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 taking a look. Yeah, it really doesn't like me. Which, you know, I can kind of accept. But, eh. Strong claim on the Duchy of Burgundy, weak claim on the County of Perflaz, and weak claim on the County of Burges. You're all the way over where, though? Yeah. Where's that? Uh, County of... Yeah, so he's living here right now. Which is a little closer than I'd like, but I don't think we're going to have much to worry about him. Let's go on a grand hunt. I've given the order for a grand hunt to be organized in Chartez. Or Charlois, or whatever it is. Fine sport, five prestige. With my great martial ability, I have rounded up and executed the robber bands that were plaguing bourbon. Excellent. So I'll take care of that little problem. Um, let's go ahead, actually, now that we do have some money. I, I've kind of forgot to do this. We'll upgrade our castle walls. Now, actually, where's my steward? I'm going to put him there. Alright. Uh, site health of the Cersei for blood, this gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. More prestige. Come on, give me something better than that, please. Wow. So, all that for, like, 20 prestige. Whatever. Uh, so you still haven't done your job yet. Oh, wow. Both he and his wife are leading troops. It's kind of weird that his wife would be leading troops. But, eh, whatever. Another faction I don't care about. I took care of the bandits and bruges, which is good. Still have a overswelled demands, which is not so good. What? No! You suck! The twists and turns of Angie's tongue and the white lies she uses to make friends is making my head spin. How can such a young lass be able to lie so well? No matter, the goals justify the means, so she gains deceitful. Ah, uh, you know what? We don't want somebody who is not on our side being deceitful, so. Yay, she gained honest. That's good. So I better not die thanks to these damn wounds. All right, castle walls have been built in Bourbon. I wanted to up the castle town. So that'll improve my tax income. Uh, a usurper. That's all fine. So far, nothing too, too exciting. Yep. After I had made another courtier cry and the third... The, the third one in a short week, I felt a bit embarrassed. Is this really who I am? A cruel man who likes to hurt people? Who am I kidding? I love this! I can gain the cruel trait, or I can ga potentially gain the kind trait. Well, um, yeah, cruel only has very limited uses, and I don't particularly like it on me. Oh, Jesus, what have I done? Ple forgive me, please. I am, in fact, now kind. Perfect. That'll make my vassals like me a bit more. 
You don't like me very much at all. Yeah, the demand's too big thing. That's a bit of a pain, currently. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can't. But NVIDIA was just informing me that I have new a uh, new graphics driver to download. You know, because that's what I want to see right when I'm in the middle of a game. Anyways. Um... Nope. It is paused currently. Before I unpause it, let's... Right, I've already gone on a grand hunt this year, so that's no good. I'm not going to hold another feast, because that one was, the last one was a bit of a disaster. And we are a bit bad as far as money is concerned. The old wound is finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. So I'm scarred again. Can I be scarred twice? I don't think so. Yeah. But at least I am healed, so I won't die anytime soon. Uh, hopefully she will get pregnant again here shortly. She does like me, and she is my spy master. She wants to have a son as well, yeah. Like, we're both kind of of a mind about that. It's a 50-50 shot every time, but I mean, still. How many times have you flipped a coin and it came up heads five times in a row? Didn't happen very often, but it does happen. Alright, let's take a quick look, peek at our councils, see if there's any improvements that can be made. Mm. Yeah, this, this steward, I hope you live for a very long time, my friend. Our wifey. We actually do have quite a major improvement that can be made here. Oh, cool. We have a uh, brilliant strategist as a, uh, you know, on Angie's here, which is not super amazing for a woman to have, but then again, considering who is teaching her. Uh, pause for a second. There was something I was doing. I can't remember what it was now. Right. Council. A point. Uh, you, because you're better. You should still be building the castle town. You're almost done, though. And that'll provide quite a nice upgrade to our incomes. Uh, what was the next thing I wanted to take a look at? Our sister has fully grown. Is not currently married. But I'm going to save that one. That might be a, you know, bargaining chip I can use later on. Right, we need to get you doing something. You know what? I don't really care about the papacy right now. Where you're going to research some cultural tech. You're going to continue to scheme because I don't trust my brother. I think he could cause some issues for us. In fact... Um, what are my... kind of abilities to kill you at the moment? Not super good. So we're going to go ahead and cancel that for now. Fortunately, he's a bit hard to touch at the moment. It is August. Is there something we can do... Summer Fair. Oh, it has to be before August. Goddamn. Oh, we can go on a grand hunt here shortly. The castle town has been built. Alright. So let's go ahead and get our steward back to collecting taxes. What is that? Our income for taxes now. Dear husband, blessing upon you and your house, I have discovered a plot where... Uh, whatever. Seeks to kill Duke Rorgon of Burgundy. That would be me. I would be against that. End your plot. No, you don't want to. Why? Who is your liege? Duke of Barcelona. Hmm. You are a bitch. Why do you even want to kill me? Like, there's nothing... There's no gain in it for you. Well, unfortunately, I can't really do anything about it. Yeah, you're trying to um, fabricate a claim on me. Which you won't stop. And you want to murder me. Which you won't. Which I can't stop either. Now, the fabricating a claim thing, I don't mind so much. Because we can fight that off. However, the whole wanting to kill me bit could just randomly kill my character at any time. So if we can't make you... Stop by just asking you. We are going to slash your face off. So let's bring. Whoops. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, auto invite to start with, I think. We're gonna drop the speed down here for a second. 
All right, so that brings our plot power up to 57. Now we can get another 13 from you. What do we what do we need? 32. Sure, why not? Like the plot. What about you? Another 20. What about you? Another 20. I just I'm the reason I'm kind of going all out on this one right now is I cannot afford to just have like my my character just die randomly at this point. I mean, she doesn't have any backers currently, but like all it takes is kind of like, you know, one bad step really. So up to 83%, 94. Okay, let's invite one more of around the 10% range. Oh, he had already been invited. Okay. That should bring our plot power up to at least 100%. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, we're just... You know, if she's going to try to kill me, we are we are going to kill her. Is the way I look at it. Chancellor still hasn't gotten us that claim yet. It'd be really nice to have it. Uh, wife is not yet pregnant. I said she wants to have... Oh, that's war. Yeah, okay. Let's send her another gift just to uh, keep her opinion high of me and increase the chances of the uh, Rumpty Bump Bump. Does she bury? I don't care about. Title loss, I don't care about right now. Still, though. Actually, what are the laws looking like? All right, so I have rain for 10 years. Pause here. Duchy of Burgundy. Yeah, what I want to do is change this. What? Oh, shoot, I went to Gavelkind. Tiles of the ruler are divided amongst his children, with the oldest getting the primary title. The ruler has no children. Shit, I pressed the wrong button. Alright, I am actually going to reload an autosave on that one, because that... Like, normally I'm the type of player that, um... Um... Work brain. Resign. Yeah. Just take me to the main menu. Um, normally I'm the type of player that, you know, when something bad happens, I will just accept it as consequences and move on. But when I misclick something, that is not, like, that's something different. Because <coughs> that, uh, that UI was, or that interface was different than I'm used to. And I think, and that's the excuse I'm going to hide wildly behind on this one. Alright, so unfortunately we did lose a few months. So let's just do a quick, um, you know, recap to make sure that we're all still kind of where we should be. Alright, so our plot is going good here. All right, now what I wanted to do... Um... Primogeniture, I think, is the one I wanted. Yeah. Or I can go elective monarchy. Uh... Yeah. Or Ultramogenitor. The succession law is the opposite of the far more common primogenitor. The Ultramogenitor, the youngest child, inherits. Yeah, that's not what we want. No, I do want primogenitor, so why can't I get this? So the... Let me see. Okay. So I either have to be... So the Kingdom of West Francia has to have either high or absolute crown authority. And the King of West France currently has limited crown authority. Hmm. So... What is the current, um... What is the current succession law? Gavelkind. 
basically just splits it out among everybody, right? I'm thinking, since I can't go primogeniture... Um, elective monarchy might be my best bet. Because this one... The ruler in each lower rank vassal, i.e. the dukes if the ruler is a king, can nominate a successor from among themselves and legitimate children and siblings of the ruler. Uh, there's some danger in that, though. Alright, so I guess I won't be changing the succession law. That's a bit of a pain. Alright, unpause. Bump the speed back up. How are we doing money-wise? Five bucks coming in per month. I was kind of hoping for a little more. Let me see. Castle infrastructure needs to be at least four for that one. Let's see. A toll booth. Ooh, that's actually a really nice one to have. What do I need for this? Town infrastructure of at least three. I think that'll be the next piece of tech we get. My liege, my work in Orleans seems to have come to fruition. Perfect. By bribing, cajoling, starting, threatening, and, and forging documents, I have managed to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Orleans. Oh, wow. So I've got the whole damn duchy. That's going to cost me 200 prestige, though. But I have lots and lots of prestige. Right on. So let's grab that, pause it. We did lose a fair amount of money for that. Let's bring the speed down for a second. Now, let's just do a quick recap. He has like 800 army size, right? So like nothing. I'm not... Oh, wait, I am leading troops out somewhere, so I wouldn't be able to lead my own troops in battle. Wait, what the hell? This is me, right? No, that's my cousin. Okay. Okay. Whew. <laughs> I thought that was me for a second, and I was about to freak out. Like, how the hell did I gain all these bad traits? All right, so unfortunately... I am currently leading troops, though, in, um, St. Ogog. I wonder if I can, like, end being a commander. Uh. What does being a commander get for me, though? It gives me an improvement with the, on opinion, right? But here's the thing. The whole point of having a character this good at fighting is to use him in my own wars. So, come on. Would you close that, please? Thank you. So I'm going to resign as commander here. There we go. Why would I want to go on hiding? I can go into hiding in order to greatly improve my personal security... My prestige and diplomatic ability are likely to suffer. Uh, oh, I guess that's because I'm currently being hunted by What's-Her-Face. Eh, she'll be dead soon. Unless you want to end the plot. If you end the plot, I won't murder you. Maybe we can actually end this with a gift. We'll have to try that when our money improves. Alright, well, either way, we're not going to war until our money improves. Um, you know what? Fine. I will accept it for now. Uh, she's concerned that she's not married. Alright. Let's find her somebody nice. Pause the game real quick. Who can we marry you off to? Who can we maybe get a alliance with? What about you? Uh, you have no sons. What about you guys? You have no sons, so that's no good. I like to, it to be kind of in realm, but... Hmm. 
What about over here? You have a son who is already married. Already married. Already married. All right, that's no good. All right, let's just find her somebody then. Arrange marriage. The king of Bulgaria. Sure. He will, in fact, say yes as well. All right. Ah, uh, may you live in harmony and content? I accept your suggestion. Marriage ties. That's good. Now, does that make him one of my allies? I think it does. Yeah. I can't call him into war at this point because he's, uh, you know, outside of my realm. But if I happen to become king under this uh, lifetime... Where'd you come from? Rogo's, Rogon's sister, Angie's brother-in-law. Oh, okay. Cool. Doesn't really help me much, but... Yeah. Now, the best help we're gonna get, really, is from this guy right here. Who can bring, like, 2,000-ish troops to my cause. Anyway, as I was saying, we gotta let our money recover a bit here. Great Duke Gorgon, I and a powerful group of loyalists have presented an ultimatum to the usurper, Prince uh, Carloman of West Francia, demanding your rule over Orleans. Wish us luck. Oh. Right on. How's that going to go for you? Dear cousin, peace be with you. We request that you honor your obligation to answer this call to arms against Prince Carlemagne of West Francia. Declining would cost us 25 prestige. If we accept, we will be part of the Orleansian Revolt War for Duke Rorgon's claim on Orleans. So you're in war with this guy? Who doesn't have a lot of personal power and no allies. Yeah, sure. I'll accept that. It's a little earlier than I really wanted to go into war at this point, because, you know, my levies are not going to be as good as one would otherwise hope, but, you know. So let's group into here. Dear nephew, peace be with you. We decided to offer you the position of commander. I'm going to decline for now. Talk to me again after my own wars are done. Okay, we're going to slow this down since we are, in fact, in war. Seems like they more or less have this handled. But just in case, we are going to kind of get our own troops rallied up here. We can go a little faster than that. Come on. Cool. Have a sun this time, please. All right, so that's 2,000 troops. I'm leading from the center. Yeah, level 8 and a level 5. Unfortunately, I'm the only one with any kind of ability in this army, it would seem, but that's okay. But, alright guys, that is gonna have to uh, be the end of this episode. Uh, I hope you'll join me next time when we crush Orleans into a tiny little pulp and take it for ourselves. So, until then, so long. <laughs>